We're doing a uh, brake replacement on a Mercedes Benz 1999 SL500. This is a front front brake system with a fixed piston. We have the compression pins and the brake um, brake holders. You first have to remove the two brake pins to be able to remove the bracket. No, not bracket. The, the holder. You can either use it with a needle nose, just push it out, and it'll come off on both sides. You have to push the pressure out of the pin, and then it just comes off. Once you remove those, usually a wire connected to these, but since this is just in a Demonstrating video, we won't be doing that. Get a plug. To get the brake, the, the brake pads off, you either compress the brakes with the flat heads. Either. How we do this last time? Come on. Come For this one, it's easy if you just pause it from front here to compress the piston. It should just come right off. Same thing you'll do with the rear. What the fuck is that? I forgot how I did this one. So on this brake, it's around 90, 90% on it. So we won't recommend brakes. So for the next brake, you can press the piston. One by one. Or for easy use, you can use the old bracket. Just press them both in. Pressed in. And they're both compressed. After that, you just re reinstall both brake, brake, both brake pads, brand new. as you pull them out. Put the bottom one in first through the hole. in and 
you have your brake job done. This is the rear, uh, this is the rear brake system of the SL500. And we have to also get these con uh, the pressure points, our pins. So we're gonna use <clears throat> a punch to hit it out. Use needle noses you do it again or? Yeah. to pull the pins out. So here's the first one. Give me the punch. And then there's another, there's also another. Oh, pin right here. So we have to knock that one out. Okay, so now we have to unplug this. These two wires. That connects to the bracket, the holding bracket. Brackets aren't coming out. Compress the piston to release the pressure. Say it. And we're gonna compress the pistons because the bracket is not coming out. So we're gonna relieve the pressure on the bracket. So off camera we took off this other piece because it was holding on the bracket, it was holding on this bracket and it wouldn't allow it to come off so we had to take the bottom piece that sat right here and it looks exactly like this but it just sits over here. So we took off the bracket with that and now we have to compress the pistons. check with your pinky and the width it's like about 60 50 percent you're done you have to put the brakes back in we're using old brakes but well, the same ones but you had to use a, you'll probably get a new pack you put them in the same way you got them out And 
they don't go in the first time, just try to compress it again. Get it back on. Put the pads in, you can put the new pressure pins back in and then try to put them between the brake pad holes or the holes and it should slide right back into the same holes that you had before. Back in. That's your back. Break system. 